Hi and welcome to a mystery from Japan. I don't know why, but every time I manage to find something related to mystery or obscure from Japan, I treat it differently compared to other mysteries I find. It just has a different feel to it when it's from Japan, I really cannot explain why. This one is rather harmless, but still a very bizarre and creepy one. You will understand why. Please make sure to sub if you enjoyed the videos and let's get into this. Back in the 1980s and 1990s, mystery-based shows were huge in Japan. One of the most well-known ones is called Night Scoop or also known as Detectives Night Scoop. Celebrities were participating in the show to the extent of going into the field to debunk or report on odd events or places, but the show also had comedians as moderators and investigators in order to keep the audience entertained. What made this show so popular was the fact that the public could send in tips of things that they wanted to be covered in the show. One very interesting mystery that was investigated within the show dealt with the lost Colonel Sanders statue which they managed to fish out of a river. This case in particular is even linked to a well-known Japanese urban legend called the Curse of the Colonel. The statue was then discovered way later in 2009. But stuff like this really popularized this TV show. Urban legends, mysteries related to Japan, the celebrities and comedians, as well as the involvement of the public, made this show really memorable. However, there was one particular mystery that differed from the rest. Not a single mystery in the history of the TV show was treated in the same way this particular mystery was dealt with. While this mystery is fairly harmless, it's still creepy and kind of disturbing, especially with how it unfolded itself throughout the TV show. On the 20th of March in 1992, a comedian named Masa was chosen to go and investigate a case in Osaka near a station area. The person that gave him the tip described how there were vinyl packing ropes, which varied in their colors, were tied up on guardrails and telephone poles. The ropes were first seen in the beginning of February, but as time went on, more and more ropes were tied up on the poles and rails to the point where it just became unnerving. Interestingly enough, no one claims to have seen someone tying up the ropes in a time period of two months which seems nearly impossible. Osaka is a large city. To have someone do that for such a long time without getting noticed seems extremely unlikely. Masa then went around the station and was documenting what he saw. Ropes on poles, railings, traffic signs and scaffoldings. He even went to some hardware and home goods stores in the area to ask them if they had customers who bought a lot of robes in the last few weeks. The store managers claimed that they were out of packing robes because someone bought them up, but they were unable to tell the comedian who it actually was which is kinda strange to be honest. Anyway, Masa went back to the scaffoldings to just get some more pictures of the ropes, but he then started to realize that the ropes actually form some sort of trail. He followed the ropes to an alleyway where he was surprised by hundreds if not thousands of ropes that were tied up on nearly every blank spot on the surface. After seeing this, he became visibly creeped out and went back to the main road after his recording of the area. This entire thing becomes even more bizarre. At the end of the episode, Masa clearly declares that this investigation should not continue. The viewer is left with the message, we will not be reporting on any further information regarding this case. Thank you for your understanding, which was shown on the screen and this case became the only one that was cancelled before any resolution in the history of the show. Sadfully, the episode itself was copyright claimed so many times that the physical copy of it is super hard to find. There are rough transcripts available on the Japanese wiki 
and some screenshots, but not more than that. I tried to find the episode in question, but after clicking through some Japanese websites, using Google Translate and checking out some daily motion re-uploads, I simply am not able to find it. I also checked the website from the original TV show, but it was pretty obvious that there is nothing left from the original episode. If you stumble across the episode, I would highly appreciate it if you maybe could provide a link in the comments. I would pin it so others can see. Obviously this investigation ending so abruptly and the TV show not even mentioning this case ever since left a lot of questions unanswered. I want to discuss some of them. Directly related to the episode that we dealt with is a blog post completely in Japanese but running this through Google Translate gives us somewhat of an accurate translation. Here the author of the blog post even linked the video in question but sadly it was removed. Well, the translation is kinda off at times, but what I gathered from this blog post is that the author was living in the area where this mystery unfolded and he got pretty curious about it and decided to take a deeper look into this. Further below in the blog post, he even shows two pictures where he can be seen in one frame or so uh, behind a guy and he seems to be very happy to be on TV. In the last two paragraphs, he actually gives us information that was not known before. He talks about how all of the ropes disappeared after this incident became a topic of conversation. But all in all, even though this guy was even in the episode and clearly knew what was going on, he also doesn't really have a clue who the perpetrator is. There is one more blog post that is the most recent one, I guess, which contains way more information. Pretty much the blog post summarizes the entire episode, then proceeds to discuss things we already discussed, but continues with a forum post. It's super hard to make sense of it since everything is in Japanese, but what I get from it is that the person claims to have seen an unemployed woman who has a mental illness. There was one more person in the forum who said the following. I'm local, I'll tell the truth. Although the truth is unknown on the program, the production side knows the truth. There is a link attached to this citation, but I am unable to really translate this website. I click through the links and I'm honestly more confused than before. There are a bunch of endless threads. I honestly cannot be asked to skim through everything. If you like to do it yourself, I'll put a link down to it but I highly recommend that you at least understand Japanese. Nevertheless, there were three supposed locals that all have one claim in common. That the person in question is someone with a mental illness and that it's a female. One of them claimed that she uses the ropes so she can find her way home. The TV show pulled the episodes for privacy reasons and to curb online harassment. This theory was even backed up by someone called Makoto Kitano that worked as a comedian in the TV show. He was talking about the case in the radio show and said that they were unable to interview the woman who had been behind the tying of the ropes due to her seemingly being paranoid and schizophrenic. He said that she mentioned that she had to tie the ropes and that she couldn't stop tying them because the idea of stopping was terrifying for her. She seems to have OCD, but that's really just an uneducated guess. I really don't know. There was obviously also the assumption that this is just fake and made up by the TV show, but this is highly unlikely. I'm not fully educated on the law system in Japan, but as far as I understood it, a TV show needs to post a disclaimer in listings and on screen whenever the content shown is fiction and in this episode this obviously was not the case. This mystery is still a topic of debate even after nearly 30 years now and there has been no update ever since on this from the TV show and there is no definite conclusion on this, just theories and a little mention from one of the comedians that worked there. 
the most plausible theory is that the person behind this mystery is an elderly, mentally ill woman who probably has OCD. That would also explain why the TV show pulled the episode and is deleting all re-uploads of it. I'll end the video here. Thank you a lot for watching. This video actually just served as a replacement for a different video that I couldn't finish for today, but I still really enjoyed this one. Either way, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to sub and leave a rating, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.